feel so bad we didn't get to get to the the uh, Ten Commandments one, Coach. I wanted to get your – do you have any, like, quick fire thoughts on that then? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Louis um, I'm from Louisiana, man, and uh, and I grew up – you know, we've talked about this before. I grew up in the church, all that, and it, it's – I'm just getting, I, I try my best not to be, not to have any type of like really, really bad thoughts about Christianity and everything like that. But the fact that this is happening just goes to tell you more about how they want to impose their beliefs on everyone else. Like, like imagine thinking, because they could have easily said, hey, we should put a list of rules up in the classroom. You know, there should be some rules because who would be against that? Hey, don't don't hit other people. Don't steal anyone's things. Like some of the commandments, we all follow them anyway, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't even know what they all are, but I'm, I'm sure I follow all of them. But but like, I mean, I think there's some that aren't even like. There's related. a bunch you don't follow, I guarantee. I, <laughs> there, most of them are useless. Most of them are useless. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know PJ is our, our resident freaking religious scholar. So we'll have, but, but no, like, there's so, it's so, it, you could have easily said, I think in every classroom, there better be a set of rules that says, don't hit, don't steal, don't, 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 don't grab your teacher's butt or whatever, whatever you want to put on there. But the fact that you decided it had to be the Ten Commandments. And, and this, TJ, you brought up something way earlier about um, gender and stuff, right? And I had a guy who, you know, during during when Pride Month first started, my city, which is a very small conservative town, decided to erect a pride a pride flag, right? They decided to lift the pride flag and say, hey, Mantega, you know, our city, we we are uh we're 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 inclusive or whatever, right? And so people were like, oh, you know, these people get a month and then veterans only get a day, and we've already talked about that, right? But this guy, um, I, I was like, you know what? I got time today. So I went in on people. I went in on, and something people don't like to do is engage with me because I'm pretty known in my town. I've been there for years. My daughters are known. My wife's a teacher. I, we, we're we known. And, and so yeah. when I engage someone, they know, it's, they know like it's about to get real. So I engaged a couple of people. A couple of people tried to step back. I went in on them. And then, and then after I go in on someone once or twice, I start getting DMs because they don't want the public discourse anymore because they're like, shit, this guy's giving it to me, right? So I get a DM from this guy and he's trying to he's trying to ease things over with me, right? He's like, you know, I just it's you know, it's my faith and blah blah. And so one thing he brought up was that I just believe that there's no God doesn't make mistakes and there's men and women, period. And I said, what about intersex people? Mm -hmm. Like those people exist. Do you just you just you just just ignore like Were those a mistake <laughs> yeah, is like two to three percent of the population possibly like do you ignore that because and and you know like after about we went back and forth through about five dms and when i said that and i pointed out castor semenya who was an 800 meter runner for i think south africa who was stripped of some of her medals or told like you can't run because your testosterone levels are too high even though we realized you were born <laughs> intersex or whatever i said this is something that actually happened to someone how do you how do you reconcile with this idea that god doesn't make mistakes and there's only men and women yet here we have three percent of the population that don't fit into that binary category that you're trying to put them in how do you reconcile with them what do you guys want to guess he said that doesn't count Almost. He said nothing. He stopped talking to oh, me. He stopped. <laughs> he didn't he even said, say that doesn't count. <laughs> didn't even want to question his faith. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't. Because I think at that point he was probably like, this guy's starting to make me question things that I don't get to question because I believe in Christianity and that's what I do. And the, what pisses me off about it is that all this does is tell, you should question it. And for you to think that you should be able to put your religious rules in every damn classroom because it's what you believe. And there's no damn way that you would allow a Muslim to put their religious rules in every classroom. Because if it's just about the rules and how we should have, we should know the rules. And, and I'm reading the article about that and he's in uh, the, the governor or whoever signed off on it. He's like, if we're gonna be a law and order, we gotta start with the first laws that were given to Moses. But, and I'm just like, oh, I just, freaking hit me over the head with a freaking broom because I, I just, so I, again, I try my best not to say mean things, not to question these people. And, but, but I'm getting to a point now where I'm just going to start just 
just blurting out shit to, to Christians, like when they say stuff like, you're blessed. No, I'm not. Like, you know, just start like, I'm just because, because we, I, no one ever hides their Christianity to me. No one is ever like, um, oh, you're not Christian or, or I'm not going to say that because I don't know what you're like. You know, if I say, oh, my daughter ran fast this weekend. Wow, you guys are so blessed. God blessed her with this talent, blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't ever go up to people and say, oh, the devil blessed me, you know, or whatever I <laughs> want to say. Or, or hey, you know, hey, hey, hey Demetrius, you want to come to our church? No, nah, but I'm having this uh, atheist thing at my house. You want to come? They would get completely offended by that. So, I mean, I think we put up with a lot. You know, as whatever we are, atheist, agnostic, whatever you want to call us, but I just it drives me crazy. This, it, it, I just it just it pisses me off in principle more than anything because at the end of the day, do I care if there's a, a, a set of rules on a on a on a wall? I, I want my my daughters to go by rules and all that. I care that you're saying our our religious beliefs are more important than 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 your lack of religious beliefs and anyone else's religious beliefs. And I'm like, I, I just want to start saying F you to everybody who, who just agrees with that stuff. I really do. And, I, and it, it's starting to make me like, I have some very good Christian friends, you know? It's starting to make me resent some of them too. And I'm like, it's not really their fault, but it's like, but you go into these places every Sunday too, and you sit there and then you come and you do, I don't know, man, I, I better stop because I, I really do start getting... We're we're there. We're there. No, you know, yeah, you are you are preaching to the definitely yeah. not choir. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, they're running cover for these folks. That's what bugs me. It's like yes. you may not yeah. be one of them, but you're enabling them. And just that, like, that, just, that, just, just like we said with the like the, the men, it's like okay, you might not be one of the men that's where great. Men feel yes. dangerous, but I guarantee fucking tea you that you know a guy who is and you aren't calling him out. And it's the same Great. thing with the religious people. It's like, if you're religious, that's fine. All power to you. You can go be religious. I think it's kind of dumb, but, you know, you go do <laughs> like, I do a lot of dumb shit, too, you know, like, but if, if, if you see this and you're like, not calling that out, if you're going, this is wrong, we should not be putting in every classroom, thou shalt have no other God before me. Clear violation of the, like the most crystal clear violation of the first amendment you can possibly have. And if you aren't calling them out, and if you're voting for the representatives who do this, well, you're one of the bad ones too. I, I hate to break. Agree. Agree. All right, I think coach, you gotta take off, my friend. Yeah, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, hey, we'll get. Go ahead. I'm just saying we gotta do this again, man. You guys are great. Where can where where yeah, can no, the folks find your on. content real quick? Yeah, I'm gonna plug your. Oh yeah, that's hey. right. We should do yeah. We should do the outro. Um yeah. Um cool. I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to do a little intro. I'm going to throw to you. You're going to say, hey, you can find me here. And then TJ is going to take over. All right, guys. Thank you for watching the show today. We got to talk a lot about masculinity and, and gender issues. And, you know, you, you would think we're every other leftist podcast now. But, no, it was great. It was great. Um, If you guys liked what Coach D had to say, uh, how about you tell our audience where they can find you? Everywhere on, on TikTok at Coach D underscore speaks, at, on YouTube at Coach D underscore speaks, on Instagram at Coach D underscore speaks, and on X at Coach D underscore speaks. So, yeah, I appreciate the follow and everything. And I appreciate you guys having me on. It was great. Definitely. No problem. Th thanks so much, Coach. Uh, if you want uh, more advice on how to be the most manly man imaginable, follow three of us. We'll take care of you. Catch you later. <laughs> All right.